And now, our feature presentation. Optimus Prime is getting jumped by the Decepticons. <laughs> Tick can turn passing bro around like an Instagram thot. All of the Autobots were with him 10 seconds ago, but now all of a sudden they're nowhere to be found. Optimus gets blasted away and it's not looking good for bro. But the inspirational music starts playing, he gets up, and takes a look right at us. <laughs> And just gets to work, starts turning these boys into straight scrap metal. We finna have new TVs and computers real soon. Goku Black begins to flex the hardest transformation in Dragon Ball history. His ass think he will Uzi, but god damn, Super Saiyan Rose goes so hard. He starts letting out all the intrusive thoughts that Goku got pent up. I ain't never heard of blood getting down with no nigga and winning, ever, period. Only thing I heard you put hands on was a female, nigga. So when we get in the ring, nigga, treat me like I'm Rihanna, nigga. And see what the fuck happened, nigga. I'm gonna knock my bitch ass out, nigga. Vegeta starts wilding on him, swearing that he's cooking up. But once I saw this, oh yeah. Letting Vegeta get those hits was just part of Goku Black's Make-A-Wish contract that he signed. Mission failed. We'll give this out. We'll next time. Koba walks in trying to challenge my goat Caesar. Starts <laughs> telling Caesar how he loves the humans more than he loves his fellow apes. Caesar doesn't take lightly <laughs> to being called a coon. Koba got PTSD <laughs> from getting ripped apart like a Build-A-Bear doll by the humans while getting experimented on. Caesar was right there too, getting abused and experimented on, but he got in his MLK bag and made a change. <laughs> How dare you even try to disrespect me like that? <laughs> the coldest characters in fiction. So we gonna start with the leader of the Autobots, Optimus Prime. So I'm gonna be honest, Optimus was a straight psychopath. He was out there making dudes eat straight sword to the mouth and ripping dudes' faces apart. Then let's stand there at the yeah. end of the movie and give some inspirational ass speech like this nigga then just display serial killer tendencies. I'm proud of all of you Autobots. We fought bravely and with honor. Meanwhile. <laughs> For example, the Decepticon Demolisher was out here walling, driving his big ass all over the freeway, <laughs> on their way home from the supermarket, getting turned into straight roadkill, watching the kill cam tight seeing the way they went out. Because I didn't even really need the cheese, bread, and crackers that bad. The yeah. military decides to send in the big dogs, which is Optimus Prime, and look at him. This man drives outside of the aircraft while transforming in midair without a parachute. Who does stuff like that? They need to put a do not try this at home warning at the beginning of these movies. Because when I was little, Optimus Prime cool ass had me ready to jump off my roof without a parachute too. Now my kneecap's above my forehead and it's y'all's fault. Optimus just straight up jumps on bro's head and tells him to pull over while blasting him in the face. It's a little difficult to drive when you can't see, just ask Stevie Wonder. Yeah, so no. the Decepticon crashes into a nearby building and Optimus Prime pulls up asking him, Yo bro, you got any last words? Bro responds with beep boop beep boop the fall will <laughs> rise beep again beep boop beep boop <laughs> Everybody just looking at him lagging on the ground just like Alright I, I guess whatever that means And this is when Optimus responds with NOT TODAY yes, He's so sir. cold bro but there's way more so the big bad of this movie is The Fallen, right? <laughs> and basically, a long, 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 long time ago, he turned against all his brothers trying to harness all the power for the Matrix for himself. So they all got to Lil' Bro and him, putting his ass in a noogie, and there was no bomb to go crying to. A big war breaks out, and eventually all the brothers end up just banding together and sacrificing themselves, sealing the Matrix away forever. The Fallen is tight about this even after centuries. He's that one unk still talking about how he could've made the league if he didn't hurt his knee. So he calls up his main bitch Megatron. Megatron already failed him once by going to Earth and dying. So he gives Megatron another mission on Earth. I don't know why he can't just get up and do it himself. He can literally walk. Bro is not Professor X. <laughs> Megatron is to kidnap Sam with Wiki and take all the information he knows. Seeing Megatron get pushed around like that really makes you understand why he'd be bullying Starscream for minding his own business. He's insecure about not being top dog. He needs somebody to take it out on. So Megatron goes to Earth and kidnaps Sam. And that was the biggest mistake he could have done. Optimus and Sam already jumped his ass once and Prime made sure to tell that nigga stay on my hood. But he ain't wanna listen, so Optimus comes in clean as hell, hitting a face trick shot. Slapping Starscream away like the side character he is. Turns around and blasts Megatron into a change of scenery. I thought for a quick second I was playing Injustice. <laughs> Optimus by himself 
follows Grindor, Starscream, and Megatron into the forest. The other Autobots didn't even bother to pull up with him. They know he's so different. They just let him run the 1v3 solo squad of aid, and you gonna see why. He was fucking up this nigga Megatron so bad, he starts screaming out for help. Decepticons! But this gotta be some of the weakest backup I've ever seen because all they did was pull up to feed Optimus' kill streak a little bit more. I swear I have not seen Megatron land a hit once this entire fight. Every time I look up at the screen, he's back on the ground somehow. Yes. He's definitely gonna fail his mission again, and he must have sensed the fall in getting that belt ready to whoop this nigga when he comes back empty handed. Because they start giving Optimus great work <laughs> telling him to fight back, but notice Optimus staying 10 toes down, he not running. This is why he's so different. Someone like me would have dipped out five hooks ago. I'm not gonna lie, they probably would start chasing him asking, Why are you running? Why are you running? Bro, because there's 37 of y'all. Optimus <laughs> goes flying, crash landing, and it's looking like it's over. But Prime be having that Meek Mill on repeat. Hold up, wait a minute. Y'all thought I was finished. And this motherfucker talks in straight IG captions, hitting them with the. <laughs> He getting triple teamed and still scoring. Start slicing and dicing these boys, every single one of them clearly catching CTE because they start hurting each other. I've seen Starscream shoot at Megatron accidentally like 70 times. I knew Prime was really a demon when he decided to take off Starscream's arm and slap Dang. him with it. Now when you've watched enough TVs or movies, you know. When a motherfucker is as OP as Optimus is, there's only one way you can kill him off. And that's to hold his ass. Optimus got distracted looking for Sam and gets sneaked up from behind by Megatron. Damn. But this just speaks to how badass Optimus is. His aura is so insane that the Fallen is somewhere up in space and <laughs> sensed, oh shit, a real nigga just died. <laughs> Getting out of his chair immediately, now is his time to make a move. Even he knew he stood no chance <laughs> as long as Optimus Bro, was still breathing. About, man? The Fallen is literally moving like Kendrick Perkins. I was scared against LeBron James. <laughs> I was like, let us get breaking news that LeBron has, you know, tore his ACL or something. Jesus. <laughs> so the humans start scrambling, right? Because they know without Prime, they stand no chance. <laughs> Don't get me wrong, Bumblebee cold too, but that nigga like four feet tall. He's not ready for this. Hmm. So eventually Jetfire is able to sacrifice his own life, giving it to Optimus, bringing him back to life. Megatron and the Fallen looking like, oh shit, yo, he back, hurry up <laughs> yeah, with the Matrix, damn. bro. But Optimus wasted absolutely no time going back in for his run back. He was in the lobby spectating, fiending to respawn, he's ready to go. They of course don't give him the faith of a one-on-one, -on -one, and I just want y'all to notice real quick that Starscream is nowhere to be found. He literally just finished reattaching his arm, bro made a business decision. Megatron sees his master getting pieced up, so he tries to help, but he ends up eating his own cannon to the face and gets blasted away through the wall, <laughs> the laid out. Niggas know they to me and get dangerous. Oh, Jesus, you understand? <laughs> the Fallen is like centuries old trying to stand up with his cane. Optimus out here robbing the elderly. He takes that shit, uses it against him, and says, and I'm telling you, makeup needs to be banned because <laughs> Optimus just exposed the Fallen for being straight fried rice. Megatron and Starscream peeking from behind and they not trying to hop in there. Megatron out here looking crazy. I know I said the first time that he needs to restore his honor like Zuko for failing the mission on Earth the first time. Man, this nigga need to restore his honor, pride, soul, face, brain cells, all that. <laughs> Starscream starts whispering to Megatron like, Ugh, Master. I'm not gonna lie, this thing is crazy. He need to recruit like 78 new Decepticons, form a super team on his ass. Yeah. And they make a business decision to just dip out. But Optimus wasn't done being the coldest robot in history. Because in the next movie, Megatron still has clearly not recovered from that ass whooping. <laughs> He's homeless now, rusting, and got like two homies left with him when he had a whole army before. He knows pulling up to Prime like this is just an instant boost to his KD ratio. So he explains his plan that he cooked up to get around Optimus, and I'm not gonna lie, it's a great one. I've never seen somebody plan out something so meticulously down to every detail just to die anyways. Megatron recruits one of Optimus Prime's mentors, Sentinel Prime. Yeah, Sentinel, Sentinel Prime. throughout the whole movie is doing all the heavy lifting, got the whole squad in his backpack, and he starts realizing, man, this I don't even great. need Megatron. 
he looks so weak, it damn near looked like his own arm is too heavy for him to lift. <laughs> so with that context in mind, Optimus Prime pulls up on Sentinel, and I'm not gonna lie to you, we could speed past this fight a bit, because Optimus was getting cooked. No, this is was. This is fake. This is fake. Yeah, that's Photoshop. That's fake. On my mama, that's fake. On my heart, <laughs> on my life, my little brother grave, I could die right now. That's fake. This is like when you send him to your pops, so he gotta put you in a sleeper hole real quick just so you can know you still not there yet. Bro. I knew it really got out of hand when Optimus uses his sword to turn Sentinel Prime into Sasuke Uchiha. But don't worry, Optimus. I'm hitting on Michael Bay right now. We wiping this shit from the movies. No way I'm gonna allow everybody to see you getting your face dragged across the concrete. Megatron then sneaks Sentinel for disrespecting him saving Optimus in the process. But I don't know what Megatron was expecting out of Optimus. A congratulations? Buck slash? Him supplying you a new face? My nigga, hit up Kim K's plug for that shit. His creative class customization skills are unmatched. He'll get you right. He starts proposing to Optimus like, hey bro, we could team up type shit. After all, where would you be without me? So he hits him with another IG caption and if you blink, you might miss it. Right. Find out. It took Prime like 5 seconds to give Megatron his eviction from life. Megatron was playing that defense like dudes who be guarding Hansel Emmanuel. Bro, he has one arm. Just guard his right. What is he gonna do? Dribble left? Y'all are trash. <laughs> Damn. And we got other characters to get to, but I'm gonna just give one last example for the cherry on top. So we're fast forwarding to the fifth movie, where all the amazing, useful Autobots and Ratchet are dead now. Yep. The only two left were Optimus Prime, Bumblebee, and a bunch of G-Leaguers now. I'm playing. I fuck with the new <laughs> cast, but they could just never hit the same like the original squad. Yeah. We gonna skip to the very end of the movie, and all you really need to know is, Sam has been replaced as the main human, the main villain is Quintessa, Optimus Prime is bad for most of the movie, and this shit is complete ass. Yeah. So the final battle is. I'm not gonna lie. Yeah, last night was terrible. I, it's so it was my least my least favorite Transformers movie. Well, least least favorite. Happening and Team Humans slash Autobots are getting cooked by the Decepticons. That is until Optimus Prime enters on a fucking dragon. Yep. He got these niggas celebrating like they won the Super Bowl. Shit, sure, I get it. I would be celebrating too. Optimus here now. That means I get to live and make it out of here. Now I can get like 19 more Fast and the Furious movies worth of life. <laughs> so a solid like four months. He walks up to like six different Decepticons at once and says this. Did you forget? Who I am. Drake foaming at the mouth, he's getting cooked right now for the king of IG captions. <laughs> and with one slice, decapitates all six Decepticons. Now there's so much more I could go over, like him smacking the shit out of a dinosaur and riding it into battle, or him finding out Ratchet got blown to smithereens and charging back in <laughs> right there. But I think you get the idea. He's badass. Yeah, that's it. All right, wow, okay. W video, wait, boy, W video. So yes, Hot Squad, that, that was enjoyable. I like, I really like how I recap, you know, Optimus Prime's um appearances in the Transformers always do definitely. But yes, Hot Squad, that was my conclusion of Blake Boy's Transformers recap reaction. So please, if you enjoyed this, please hit that button, comment, share your thoughts. What's your favorite Transformers movie? What is your favorite from best to worst? And basically, transfer later. So Hot Squad, that is it for my recap reactions, y'all. So I have. Three more videos to get through. I have actually trailers. It's the trailers for Bevius Cop Axel F or Bevius Cop 4, Kung Fu Panda 4, and Dune Part 2, the third trailer. So, Hot Squad, please stay tuned because I am not done yet. Trust me, I have three more to go, y'all. So, I am not done yet. So, like I said before, stay tuned.